So in this video, we are going to have a look upon these three topics. So we'll see what is Power BI ecosystem in which we have desktop, we have service, we have mobile. We'll see what it is. How to install Power BI desktop on which we are going to work in this whole course. And finally, we'll have an overview, an overlook at uh, Power BI desktop, how it works, how its interface looks like, how to open it, how to navigate around Power BI desktop first of all let's talk about the ecosystem so power bi ecosystem has three main components it has desktop it has service it has mobile right so we mainly work on the desktop app on which we develop dashboards we develop uh, we work on data analysis data visualizations data analytics business analytics and all that stuff will be done over here right then uh, this Power BI service is basically, uh, you can say a cloud platform on which we can publish the dashboards or reports that we create over here in the, uh, in Power BI desktop, right? So those reports can be published at my at Power, Power BI service so that um, we can share it with others as well. Or maybe sometimes we don't have our actual machine, our actual laptop with us, our actual desktop with us. Uh, and we are traveling somewhere else, we want to access our dashboards, our data analytics, we can simply log into our Power BI account or Microsoft account and we can access all that it, the, all the data that is available in the desktop, right? And also uh, we have a mobile app, Power BI mobile app, app that, that you can install it in your mobiles to have, an, to have a look upon your data, that how your data uh, visualization works, how your data analytics looks like. So this is overall Power BI ecosystem, right? So we will mainly work on desktop, but uh, by the end of, uh, in, in the last module, we'll also talk about Microsoft service, uh, Microsoft Power BI service as well, on which we will actually publish our our uh, our dashboards that we'll create in, in the desktop, right? Uh, the next thing is how, how we can install uh, Power BI, right? So there are two ways to install Power BI. What are those two ways? One is we can simply go ahead and Google Power BI desktop download and the first link comes from the Microsoft official account. We'll click over here and 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 it's totally free. We can download it. Um, we have to select the language. It, it is available in, in a lot of languages um, and here you can see we have multiple requirements are also available. Uh, system requirements, how, uh, which kind of a system should we have? You can check it out. Installation requirements, and we also have its details, right? So we'll click on download, and here we go. Uh, it has opened up a window. Uh, depending upon our machine, which machine we are using, either we are using 64-bit system or 32-bit system, we can download that particular .exe file. For example, if we mostly be, uh, people work on 64-bit system, so we'll select this one and we'll hit on download. So it will start downloading an .exe file. Once the .exe file is downloaded, you will open the .exe file and just click next, 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 and it is super simple way to install uh, uh, Power BI desktop. Second way is um, you can go to Microsoft Store, right? Simply go to Microsoft Store and click and write Power BI. It will open up all the related apps. So simply go ahead and um, uh, go to this Power BI desktop, right? And here I have already installed it. That, that is why it is showing the open button. Otherwise, it will show you something like this free, right? So you will have to click this get button, not this Power BI, but Power BI desktop, right? It is showing me open button. Why? Because I already have it you don't have it so you'll be there will be a get button visible over here for you guys right so once you will click on the get button it will download it it will install it automatically for you guys once you have installed it um, by using any of the ways that i have discussed all you have to do is you have to write uh, you have to open it up so for example power bi desktop i'll click over here it will take a few seconds to open up so it is opening up powered by microsoft and this is the logo of Power BI. Okay, so this kind of a window will be opened up uh, if you have already signed in. Since you will be using Power BI desktop for the first time, so it will ask you to sign in. So, so you don't have to sign in by using very complex method. All you have to do is you have to have a Microsoft account or Outlook account or some free Microsoft account and you can sign in, right? I have already signed in. That is why it is showing my name over here. And once you will be signed in, uh, this kind of window will be shown to you, right? So I'll simply close this window and I'll get back to the main uh, Power BI desktop and this is how it looks like. So it has um, three main windows over here, data, 
uh, at right hand side data realization filters what are these things we have already uh, we will discuss it in upcoming videos then we have these tabs since i have not started started any project so far so first part first thing in any project is to add data so that is why it is asking me to add data i can quickly add data from excel file from sql server or from any blank table and so on and so forth then here i have three options that is a report view then i have a data view when i'll insert the data there will be a data view over here and then here i have the model view i can create data models over here just like this then um, if I go back to the report view here I have different options I can also insert data from here as well um, if I go to the data uh, data view uh, once the data will be inserted I can transform the data I can add new table add new column I can add quick my year new my year what are these things just don't worry about it I'll discuss each and everything in much detail in upcoming videos so this is an overview of how you can install um, an open power bi and from next video we are going to actually insert the data and start data visualization mm -hmm.